Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Although we saw very heavy rain this morning, heard a lot of thunder, saw a lot of lightning. That morning round of storms has been about it for today. We skipped out on that afternoon severe threat. The atmosphere just not able to get anything really going. But we've got this cold front coming through, and as some of the data has been suggesting, there's that little thin line of showers just ahead of that. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network showing a quiet picture west of I-65. It's along and east of 65, that there's a little more activity, and that's because that's where the cold front has already moved through. It's continuing to track eastward. There is no longer any type of outlined risk for severe weather for the rest of this evening into tonight. But you will get in on maybe a couple of showers here around Lacey Spring and on the east side of Huntsville, let's say closer to the Jones Valley area, Owens Crossroads, and then a little heavier rain up along 64 in eastern Lincoln County. This is what the view is currently across North Alabama on the way 31 Thompson Roofing and Construction Sky Cam Network. Still some hanging, low hanging cloud cover in Gunnersville. Elsewhere it looks mostly clear, but I can tell you the clouds are moving right back in as the night goes on. So 46 degrees is your forecast low. It is cloudy, it is cool. Light wind out of the southwest at times, up to 15 miles per hour. It'll be a little more breezy for tomorrow. Watch what happens here as we go through the rest of tonight. That little thin line of showers keeps on trucking. It's out of here by tomorrow morning. And there's the cloud cover right back with us. It's not to say that you won't have a few breaks in the clouds tomorrow, but it is not going to be a clear sky by any stretch of the imagination. And that's what we have through the lunch hour all the way to mid afternoon. You start to see some changes here. Clouds will finally start moving out by tomorrow night. Until then, Get ready for cooler temperatures really from start to finish. It's not cold in the morning. We'll be starting in the mid to upper 40s, remember, but by the afternoon, your highs, they're really having a hard time getting into the upper 50s, but that's about as good as I can hope for your high temperatures tomorrow. It is much better by Sunday. In between, we still got that wind gusting 20, 25 miles per hour. It's a wind mainly out of the southwest and west, so at least it's not a very cold north wind. And perhaps you're going to be out and about this weekend enjoying some nicer weather by Sunday. Send us some pictures of what you're seeing around Alabama. First, you'll want to join the Alabama the Beautiful Facebook group. Use the hashtag ATBWAAY31. Bob Phillips captured this view. A beautiful late winter sunset. I believe this one is from Alabaster. And something else to keep in mind if you're out and about this weekend, tree pollen reading very high. That is going to be uh, something that you'll contend with if you're an allergy sufferer. Seven day forecast. We're back into the 70s Tuesday, but that chance for severe weather is back by Tuesday night. We'll be right back.